One of the emerging color trends this year has been the revitalization of green. What was once a paint undertone that was feared is now being embraced by designers and their clients. Green is no stranger to my personal color palette because I love how it portrays life, rejuvenation, and serenity. If you're looking for some green paint colors that you can use throughout your entire home, I got five of them for you. And even though they're all great colors, I'm definitely most excited about number one. Big thank you to our friends at Muddy Boards for helping us out with today's video. More on them later on. For those of you that know me, one of my favorite color categories lately has been greenage. It's a take on the popular grayish color category, but instead of being a combination of gray and beige, which is so 2015, am I right? We now incorporate green into the mix. And in some cases, green just straight up replaces gray. Having a bit of green in your main paint color is great, especially if you wanna reincorporate some color hues into an otherwise neutral palette. It's also awesome if you appreciate a bohemian aesthetic and maybe have a lot of plant life in your space. I got something for everyone here, as long as you like green, of course. The first color to talk about is Silken Pine 2144-50. This is a lighter color with an LRV of 75.38, and it admittedly has the least amount of beige in it. It's right on the cusp of being an official greenish color, but I thought it was still worth mentioning, mainly because it still works so beautifully amongst more green forward or beigey gold colors. It almost has a green tea gelato freshness to it, although it's still toned down with its gray aspect. This is probably the choice if you still want some coolness in your greenish colors. It can also act as a great transitional color too. Next up, we go a bit deeper with April showers. This color has an LRV of 68, so we're starting to inch our way towards lighter mid-tone colors. Because of the added depth in here, we can see more apparent undertones coming through. This seems to be a nice balance of green, beige, and gray, and almost has a similar feel to a more green alternative edgecomb gray. One of the darker colors on this list, but still light enough where you could justify using it nearly everywhere in your home. It's important to remember that even if a space doesn't get a ton of light, sometimes the better choice is to pick a color that has some noticeable coloration to it. Going too light on your walls can just make the space feel a bit dull, but April showers is sure to shower you with high praise from your visitors. Nailed it. But if you prefer to keep your paint colors dry, then maybe you'd be more into the third paint color on this list, handmade paper. This is the first of three CSP or Color Stories palette colors, which are Benjamin Moore's newest line of curated colors that were designed to be used with Aura paint exclusively. More specifically, their interior line. They're very unique colors because all of them contain at least five different colorants used inside, which creates some pretty interesting paint color choices. Handmade paper specifically is the lightest color we're going to talk about today, and it's also the warmest by a decent amount. Its coloration definitely feels like it's heavy with a creamy yellow feel that has been toned with some green as well, more so on the yellow side of things for sure. It's as far towards warm yellow as I would go with my precious greenish color palette, but it's definitely within that category of colors. It's really great in those areas that you want to glow with a beautiful, cozy aura of color and could be perfect for my linen lovers out there that also want to dabble in the green territory. The second last color on this list is one of my favorite treats to indulge whenever I'm in the Mediterranean, which hasn't been for a while. <laughs> Awkward. The second CSP color to chat about is pistachio ice cream, and it's a color that really does the name justice. It's more akin to the natural looking pistachio ice cream rather than the fluorescent green stuff you might find at the grocery store. No offense to that, but it's not the real stuff, okay? Considering there are all kinds of colorants that are used to make this color, the saturation feels pretty leveled off, and it also doesn't feel overly green, although it's more prominent than the green that was found in April showers, for example. In fact, those two colors specifically have a lot of similarities, only pistachio ice cream is the more true greenish color that abandons gray 
and replaces it with a warm green. Before we get to my favorite greenish color currently, I want to tell you more about Mighty Boards, which is a wonderful paintable board that allows you to test colors out properly before you go and buy those 15 plus gallons of paint you'll need to do your whole house. What's great about Mighty Boards is they're large, flexible, paintable boards that you can paint with a tester and then they're able to lie flat against whatever surface you use it on. This way you'll not have the color be obscured by distracting shadows from bendy or warped cards that you might have used in the past. This is especially important if you just started to dabble with greenage colors and green undertones in general. It's even more important in that case to test it out first. So check out our link to Mighty Boards down below if you want more information on them. We've made it everyone. The last, but certainly not least, green beige main color. This is a color that I can confidently recommend as an all over the house main color, especially for those people that are used to the classic grays and the pale oaks of the world. But maybe you want something just slightly different, something that has a touch of green to add some flavor to your color scheme. This color is definitely the most subtle of the five we talked about today in its use of green, but it's there present enough where it has an almost pearlescent touch that I'm happy to present to you. With an LRV of 74.96, my current favorite green age color by Benjamin Moore is CSP 125. Ali's earring. The CSP colors in general are so awesome. So click here if you want to learn more about some other colors within the collection. Remember, you can only get them in Aura interior paint. So keep that in mind. Later. 